Hey everyone, in this video we will talk about the treatas function and some of the times where treatas doesn't give us the expected value so let's start. So a treatas function basically propagates the filter from one table to another. Let's quickly look at the data model and I'll explain what I'm talking about. So I've got two tables here, fact internet sales table and fact product inventory and there's no join between these two tables. So let's say um, you've got a color column in uh, product inventory and you've got a color column in internet sales. So you want to, uh, so let's say you want to join the sales amount and the unit balance using the color from the fact and internet sales table. So what happens? So you can create a measure in the product inventory table and I've already created it. It's called propagated units balance. So let's just go here and we've got propagated units balance and you can see how it's uh, doing its thing. Uh, some the fact product inventory unit balance and when the filter is internet sales color go and find the corresponding color in the fact inventory uh, fact product inventory table and then find me the corresponding amounts so let's just quickly uh, create a table here and i'll put put this and what i'll do is i'll grab the color from uh, the other table and you can see so let me just so uh, this is how it is looking like now. Let's say now if I just go into the, so let's just uh, grab another one to make this clearer. So I'll grab the color from the fact product inventory and I'll also get the unit balance from here. So if I get the unit balance uh, from the table, not the propagated unit balance. Um, so you can see the numbers are different. The total is different. Um, and the total here is different and uh, what's the reason so you've got the same color black you've got blue you've got oh you don't have gray uh, we'd have multi we have na we have red we have silver we don't have silver black uh, we have white and we have yellow so what's going on is that the product inventory has certain inventory and there is certain unit balance which has not been sold at all so what happens is when we propagate the filter from the internet sales table because the internet sales table doesn't contain the colors which exist in the product table, those filters don't propagate. So that data gets missed out. So whenever you're using a tree task function and you're starting from a table which doesn't have all the values in the column that you're using to filter, it will start, it will show you uh, some missing, it will uh, miss out some data. So you will miss out some values and numbers. So this is, uh, so the only way to do is that how when you set the filters, make sure that you're setting the filters from the table which has all the values uh, and not from the table which has a subset of the values. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Let me know if you would like me to take any specific topics. Cheers, bye.